Hey everyone and welcome back to another J the One I Gamer video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the newly revealed Tales of Arise. Yes, the game that was leaked a couple days ago is real. And it is kind of sad that it was leaked and spoiled for us. But I have to admit, when I was watching the Microsoft press event, this was kind of the game I was looking forward to. So I was very happy when it showed up. Just from the trailer alone, it looks gorgeous. As you guys know, it's running off of Unreal 4. So that means it's going to look amazing on the current gen. And hopefully when it upscales to next gen, it will look great too. I'm super hyped for this game. Like, the fact that it exists and the fact that we finally get to see it in action makes me happy. And as the trailer goes on, we get a better look at our what seems to be our two main characters. The silver-haired boy and a red-slash-pink-haired girl who is using a gun, by the way. I did not expect that. But essentially, from what we get from the trailer is there are two planets, Rien and Diana. Uh, Diana is the main planet, apparently, where the story, I think, is going to take most laces on. And then you have Rien, which is supposedly a sacred planet from at least Diana's perspective, where it's supposed to be a planet of the dead and the holy so i'm thinking like maybe gods or celestial beings that come from that planet but apparently at some point in the history rian attacks diana literally sounds like it devastates the planet and the culture and saps some of their natural resources and for about 300 years up until tales of the abyss's starting point it sounds like the people are led to believe that rian is a very holy planet and they are supposed to just give them their resources and then we are told that the main male and female characters come from each of the planets respectively if i had to guess i'd say the male probably comes from diana and the female probably comes from rian only because she's wielding a gun which is a lot more technologically advanced than a sword so that's what I'm led to believe and also at some point in the trailer we see that the male character pulls a flaming sword out of the female's chest so that leads me to believe that again probably the people on the holy planet are kind of like seraphim from Zestiria but they're not like holy beings like that they just maybe have magical properties or just like more technologically advanced and good with arts but as the trailer goes on we see that you know the combat looks amazing it looks like no longer are you going to be teleported to a separate battle area it seems like it's all going to take place on the field which I think is a great improvement from what I understand is the director who was in charge of the God Eater franchise is also taking over now for the Tales series I feel like that's going to influence the combat system but they've also talked about that the combat is going to remain true to Tales itself and then as you can see through the trailer the female character is actually eventually taken over and she gets like one attack in as the trailer goes on we do see other characters with the main characters but I don't know if they will be part of the playable cast or if they're just going to be NPCs that come with us for a while and then essentially at one point we see the main character challenging what seems to be a fire giant to a duel with the fire sword at another point we see that he defeats it and absorbs it into the sword so maybe the fire sword has different phases maybe it starts off as a fire sword but if you defeat more of these giants like maybe there's a wind giant an ice giant an earth giant maybe each of the elementals maybe the sword eventually evolves with that there's not much to really glimpse from the trailer other than that we do see the main male protagonist about to receive a blow from one of the fire giants and then it cuts away to reveal that the release window is 2020 i'm really happy about this i'm really glad that the game exists like i'm super hyped and i really hope that Bandai Namco gives us more information at Tokyo Game Show like hopefully they'll show off the main characters and maybe like a couple of the companion characters give us the names the information the backstory about them and maybe hopefully show us off another story trailer or maybe show us off some gameplay maybe they might even have a playable demo on the show floor either way I'm hyped about this game and I definitely want to know more about it in the coming months either way I can't wait for this game and I'm definitely going to try and keep up on any news that drops about this game in the coming months so hopefully you guys look forward to that because again this is one of my favorite franchises franchises of all time so I definitely want to talk about it because I do have a passion for this I want to thank you guys I also want you all to have a great day and remember let's rock